<lacht> da ist er bis. <lacht> Yo, what is up guys? So we're going to be looking at the most overpowered build in Dead Frontier 2. Listen to me. <laughs> this is expensive to run. You will not be making this build until you've made a lot of money. Like that's, that's the only way you're going to be able to make this build. You need very expensive items and it costs a lot to run around. But the reward is so satisfying and so powerful. But like when the next level 40 and 50 content comes, you just, you know, like we're going to be going there straight away. No problem. Like not even going to work on his build. I can tr trust me on that. As you can see, the rifle one shots everything. The SMG. G absolutely demolishes the bosses in just one mag. So the only thing that can tank this is the Spitters and the Titans. They take two mags or just over two mags headshots. So yeah, this is the build. And oh, also, like, cause I've also got that in the title. <laughs> we finally hit plus four, yay. We finally at plus four, so one more to go. But yeah, anyway, let's have a look at the character, guys. Let's have a look, because it's an absolute beast. And don't forget to check the description below for links to my Discord, where we all help each other in about the game. You know, you can ask anything about this game or any of the other games that I do content on. There'll also be a link to my Twitch, where I've been streaming Dead Frontier 2 every single night. We've been doing some crazy stuff in there. It's been awesome. Make sure to come and check that out. There'll also be a link to my Twitter and my Instagram, if you're interested in finding out when I go live, or just any general news or anything like that. But anyway, let's, let's get on with the uh, video that I've been promising you for the past two minutes. All right, here is the big finale, the big, the big killer. So the funny thing is, I've actually had a lot of people say that my builds are crap and I don't really know what I'm talking about. And meh, 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 meh. The funny thing is, I always know what I'm talking about with games like this. <laughs> so the thing was, the reason I never had super expensive overpowered builds was that I never made the videos for them type, for the end game type of players that think you're an absolute baller. The videos was never meant for you. Why would they be for someone that knows how to play the game? You see, we was for the, the we, we was making them for the casual player. Now this is for the hardcores, right? If you're a hardcore, ten hour no lifer. This is the video for you, all right? This is it. Here you go. Are you ready? So we got Crow's little friend. I'm gonna go with the weapons first, all right? Crow's little friend. Don't mind, it doesn't have to be Crow's little friend, it can be any type of Mac 11. It needs to be a Mac 11, and you're gonna want weapon headshot damage. You're gonna want damage versus mutated. You're gonna want weapon ammo capacity, and then any other bonus you can get on top. The reason I went with Crow's little friend is because it's got 16 jog on top of it. It's very nice, I paid like 350k for it. Ooh, I know, trust me, I know, expensive. But look at that headshot and mutated stats. They're Headshot mutated is 35%. Weapon headshot is 31%. Let me get the hell out of this room because that's stupid. Goddamn radio. And weapon ammo capacity is at 33%. Weapon ammo capacity. If you want to be one shot in tendril, one clip in tendrils, weapon ammo capacity is very important on absolutely everything. So, yes, there's the main weapon. All right. On to the secondary weapon. I, I will go over skills and effects in a minute. I probably should have done them first, but it's fine. So, Elite M1 Grand, you're going to want damage versus infected, weapon headshot damage, and damage versus mutated is very important because that helps the uh, Mac 11 as well. The mutated damage is very important. So my stats aren't great on this. 22, 25 infected, 29 mutated, um, 24 weapon headshot damage, but it also has a whopping 33 health on top, which is super awesome for a secondary weapon. 
if this right so yeah this this is honestly the only way i could get this better is with incoming damage and jogger which getting all of them stats all six of them stats on one gun is going to be super super rare and super super expensive so i'm i'm happy with this this is fine i'd like to get jogger on it incoming damage would be the last thing that i'd want i think but yeah there it is so that's the two main weapons now depending whether you're a sprinter or a jogger blah 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 i've had this discussion a million times i'm not gonna lie to you sprinter would be better me personally i'm a jogger but sprinter would be better so i've got combat boots always have combat boots because it gives you minus three incoming damage so we've got combat boots 18 jog speed minus three incoming damage we'll have a look at the jeans but jeans so for jeans you want minus incoming damage you want health you want jog speed you want inventory unless you're a sprinter then you want sprint so for me like my jog on my trousers i'm not gonna lie is very bad the inventory capacity again is very bad but it's got 31 health and 13 incoming damage and honestly i've not been able to find any better jeans i've been looking every single day like the, the, I literally i can't find anything better than this it's, it's gonna take some time like it's, it's a very hard item to get because everyone wants very similar stats when it comes to trousers and tops. So yeah. Um, then we're going to have a look at the Kevlar vest. Kevlar vest. Um, it's got minus 16 incoming damage. 24 inventory capacity. 31 health. And it's also a Kevlar vest. So we also take 20% less damage. So say if say if a Titan hits you 400. And you have minus 50 incoming damage. It'll then do 50 damage, but then because we're wearing the Kevlar, it'll also go down another 20%, so we'll only take 40 damage. So, yeah, very, very good item. Um, then for the gloves and the helmet, right? So you're going to want the same as your, your primary weapon. You're going to want headshot damage. You're going to want damage versus mutated, and you're going to want ammo capacity. They're the main three things. Anything else you can get as a bonus, like accurate, um, maximum accuracy and stuff like that, Definitely a baller, you know, bonus item. But yeah, so I've got 34 damage versus mutated, 32 ammo capacity, and 27 headshot damage. The headshot damage is a little bit low, but the mutated damage and ammo capacity is very nice. That's on my gloves. On my helmet, I have um, 30 headshot damage, 30 mutated damage, 27 maximum accuracy, 23 ammo capacity, that's a little bit low, and 23% damage versus infected. Now, you are going to want damage versus infected on either your helmet or your gloves. You're still going to want the mutated headshot ammo capacity, but you're also going to want an infected on one of these two items. If you can get it to around 25%, I'd say 25, I'm at 23. If you can get on at least one of them at 25% and also still get your 25% on your, your rifle and 25% headshot damage then you may be able to one-shot everything. The only thing I cannot one-shot is the irradiated fat zombies. And I'm, I'm honestly, it's like 1% or 2% damage off. So I reckon when I get Prestige 5, rather than getting Jogger 5, I'll get um, Rifleman 1. <laughs> and honestly, that'll make it so I can one-shot absolutely everything. Um, but when level 30, 40, 50 content comes, this won't be an issue anyway. But yeah, so... That's it anyway. That's all the items. Oh, I've got a large rucksack plus 80% inventory capacity and minus 20% movement speed. Because the only thing that can capture and kill you is a tendril. And I can kill a tendril in one clip by like standing at the door. I don't even have to move. Um, if they're right at the other side of the room, it can be a bit of a struggle because you've got to run over there. But yeah. So anyway, on to the skills. I should have done the skills first. I know this. Before you all go ham in the comments. I, I know this. But I already started talking about the guns. So right. Super and you've been able to see them the entire time anyway. Super simple. Reload five. Marksman five. Quick shot five. Headhunter five. Submachine gun five. Hunter five. Jogger four. Now you're thinking John Flash or whatever zero. Why do you have Jogger four? Very, 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 very simple. Because I'm not really running. <laughs> I like I don't need to run from anything. All it is is making my trips a little bit longer. That's it. Like, I don't care. So, obviously, reload five will give you ammo capacity, which is very important. Reload speed, again, kind of not, actually not really important because we kill everything in one clip anyway. But the, the ammo capacity is the main thing from reloading. Then we have marksman for the maximum accuracy and minimum accuracy and the aim speed. All this helps your SMG to kill stuff in one clip. All of this helps. You need 
all of this. Quick shot, right? Adds 50% aim speed, which is a really nice bonus, but also 50% attack speed. Now, this attack speed is not super duper important. If you're not doing if you're not doing a tendril, this doesn't really matter. But if you're wanting to do tendrils, this is very important because you need to get them bullets out as fast as possible. Like get them out of the clip as fast as possible. So if you're wanting to do tendrils, you're really gonna need this. And this is where people are gonna struggle with this build. You might have this build, like if you can still want your five sprint or a jogger, you are gonna need prestige five. You are gonna need like a mil, two mil in the bank. This is honestly, this is like a very hardcore top tier build. All right, this is like the baller build. Headhunter 5 for that 25% headshot damage. Submachine Gun Expert 5 for the headshot damage, body damage, attack speed, aim speed, minimum accuracy, maximum accuracy, all that good stuff. Hunter 5 for the plus 40% um, damage versus mutated. And then we've got Jugger 4. The reason I only have Jugger 4, like I said, is because I'm only plus 4. And you do need 30 plus 5 to have all these at level 5. But yes, that is items that is the build you've seen it well people have seen it in action <laughs> you've very seen a very small brief piece of it but this can one clip everything apart from a titan and a spitter except for them it takes two clips unless you're missing heads and it can be like two and a half three clips but tendrils one clip fires one clip uh, mother one clip you know one clip easy easy peasy and i am trying to find improvements like obviously my helmet here i could do with a little bit more ammo capacity but because it's also got the damage infected and the max maximum accuracy along with the headshot and the mutated and incoming damage <laughs> that's going to be a very very hard item to replace same with the fingerless gloves 34 mutated to 27 headshots crap but the 32 ammo capacity is really nice but if i could get a little bonus on that like a little bit more headshot or um some max, maximum accuracy or a little like even just five percent damage versus infected and make that ball right but yeah that's uh that's the build guys that's the character he's an absolute beast you can come check him out every single day check this build out on stream on twitch link in the description below i've already said it yeah i know i'm saying it again i've been streaming with this character every single night because i'm trying to get plus five on it but this is a top tier as i've already said hardcore no life 10 hours a day playing this game build you need money to play this character very good though but like obviously it is expensive to run because you're running 0.38 ammo which is very expensive and you're also running 7.62 ammo which is very expensive and then we're also just carrying a load of paramedic bags a couple of these because paramedic bags don't help with radiation and then this first aid kit for some stupid reason because i had it in my inventory but yeah i don't even mess around with other little meds i just take paramedic bags that is it because it's a very strong build let's have a look at the full stats real quick before we end this video Elite M1 Grand is doing a headshot damage of 27.81. Absolutely insane. Um, the Crow's Little Friend, which is a Mac 11, is doing headshot damage of 12.85. And so other bonuses, um, there's not really anything too interesting here. 50 minimum accuracy, 77 maximum accuracy. 50 reload. 105 ammo capacity. You really want this at 100% plus. If you're doing a Mac 11 and you want to kill a tendrils in one clip you really want 100 percent plus 82 percent headshot damage this could do with being a little bit higher we really want to get this to around 90 to 100 percent um all your crappy starts blah 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 damage versus mutated 173 this is actually very nice i reckon we could push this up to 180 with some real end game build items 95 percent health so that puts us at 195 health 114 inventory capacity where is the incoming damage? Oh, have I gone past it? Oh, incoming damage 35%. That's not too bad. It's not the best. It could be a little bit better. But um, it's good for the character, honestly. So, yeah. Um, 65 jog speed. The jog is low. Trust me, I do know that. I, I am working on getting it up. I just need to get them better trousers. Really need to get them better trousers. Um, and that is about it. <laughs> Really, find unique item 135%, finally 100%. Yeah, so that's the character. Super powerful. Super powerful. If you like this video, guys, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification for future content on this game and games like this. Um, make sure to check the description below for all the self promo stuff that I set up at the start. You know, Twitch, where we're live streaming every day, Discord, where we all talk to each other about the game. You know, you talk about any game, really. 
um, and the Instagram and the Twitter for all that social media stuff if you're interested. So I hope this video helped you guys. Make sure to drop a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video and the build and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Prestige 4, one prestige to come. Come jump into Twitch. Watch us get that Prestige 5. Catch you in the next one, guys. Peace out.